Hey y'all, it's Mary and welcome to Mask Monday. I'm going to do some this or that um, questions um, that I was tagged by Kimmy's Boxes and Kim got the questions from Susan from Susan's Just Making It and Smudge is right here and he's laying on top of my questions. So that will be a little bit of something when we try to get them. Um, I wanted to show you, I put my mask on so I wouldn't take extra time. I have on the Grace and Stella eye masks. It says everything is better in pink. These are these, very, very nice. And they're um, a nice uh, um, gel and they're very comfortable. I got those from Fat Fit Fun. They were in the summer box. And then um, this lovely, lovely, lovely mask. It's a very thin gel is what I would say. It's almost, a, it's not quite a fabric. I know you, you might not can hardly see it. It's very interesting. This is from Face Story. I am a Face Story affiliate. So I have a code below. If you want anything from Face Story and you sign in under my um, code or my sign in, whatever you want to call it, I get a couple of pennies um, if you buy anything. Um, prices are exactly the same whether you buy under my name or without. So this is the mask. This is the Dream Garden Lotus Mask. Okay, Smudge, it says 40% Lotus Flower Water. It's for balancing and firming. And um, it's just a beautiful, beautiful packaging. As you can see, it's leave on for 10 to 15 minutes. And when you take this out of the package, it is between these, this is a, a, a paper and um, there's, one on each side of the mask and then the mask is on the inside so it's just a gel um and it's a very it's very thin and it feels really good and i've used it before and um it's just a lovely mask so anyway let's get on to the um this or that questions um kim did these last week and she tagged several people um, i'm not going to tag anybody because i don't know who's done it and who hasn't done it um, and then Susan's just making it. I'll put both of the of the channels below. Go and see them both. They're lovely people. They do their mask Mondays. They do unboxings. They do um, different collabs and things like that. You'll like them if you don't know them already. You probably already do, but in case you don't. So um, the first one is bad haircut or bad dye job. I want to tell y'all I am 60 years old and I've never dyed my hair ever. Now, when I say that, it's maybe sort of cheating saying that, but I've never dyed my hair completely. I have had highlights for most of my adult life. I've had highlights and um, uh, sometimes lowlights, smudge, chewing on stuff over there. So bad haircut or bad dye job, I'd probably say, um, I don't know, bad dye job because I won't ever get one. Does that make sense? It doesn't make sense. No, when I think about that, if I had to have one just to uh, prove the point of this, I'd rather have a bad haircut. You can you can play around with your hair. If your color is way off, you're, it's not gonna be good. All right, number two is um, pineapple on pizza. I guess this is, which would you prefer? Pineapple on pizza or candy corn? Now, I like candy corn. I know a lot of people don't, but I do. And I have to suppress myself from buying it at, hol at the um, uh, Halloween. <laughs> Sometimes I'll buy just one bag just to get it over with. Um, I don't order pineapple on pizza, but I have had pineapple on pizza, and it's actually interesting. It's good. I would never think to order it, um, but um, I had uh, a friend years ago that would always order it, ham and pineapple, so sometimes I get some, and, it, and it's, it's decent. I just would never order it on my own. Number two is test the waters or dive right in. Definitely test the waters, definitely, definitely. Number four is guacamole or salsa, and that is a little difficult because I love both of them. I like to dip my chip in the guacamole and then put some salsa on it, but I would, um, I love guacamole, love it. I'll say that. I love salsa too, but I love guacamole more, I think. Number five, would you rather go to a store that everything is free or to a restaurant where all the calories, where, all right, I, where every dish is calorie free? Can you imagine? Either one of those are fantastic. Um, my first instinct was to take the calorie free, but I go to stores more often than I go out to eat. So I think I will take the stores where everything is free. 
that sounds pretty good. So <laughs> um, next one is, would you prefer if you had to have loud neighbors or nosy neighbors? And I've had both in my lifetime, you know, I bet, I'm sure that we all have. Um, I would definitely prefer nosy neighbors over um, loud neighbors. Loud neighbors are just, uh, it's fine during the day, but if it's at night when you're trying to sleep, if you're trying to sleep, I don't like loud. And nosy neighbors can be sometimes good people that are just checking on you, just making sure you're okay. Now, if they're gonna be gossiping about you and stuff, that's a whole different story. But, um, you know, I'm a pretty easy going person and I don't get into trouble. So what are they gonna gossip about for me? So I'd rather they be nosy because I think that way they would be concerned about me. Um, and, and that uh, is nice. Um, the next one is, would you rather go to an art museum, art museum or a history museum? And um, I love both, I love museums. Um, but an art museum um, in Chicago, the Art Institute of Chicago is one of my very favorite places in all of the world. I could live in there. So, and I haven't been in a long time. I used to have a membership when I lived in Chicago and I adore it and that is my favorite place. So I would pick art museum. Number nine, coffee or tea? This is so difficult. Well, I'd have to pick tea. I love coffee, I have coffee every morning. I make a cappuccino every morning, but I do drink a lot of tea. I like tea, it, I can live without coffee, I can't live without tea, let's put it that way. Um, if I drive to my family in Chicago, I take my cappuccino maker with me, but the last few times I've gone, I have flown because of COVID and all, and um, I don't like regular coffee. So um, I couldn't take my cappuccino maker. So um, I like loose leaf tea, so I can live with tea. Um, but I can't, I mean, I can live without coffee. I can't live without tea. Um, city or countryside? Um, up until I moved here, I would always say the city. I loved living in Chicago. And, but when I go back and visit, I still love Chicago, but I don't miss the hustle and the bustle. I don't miss the traffic, but I love the city, but I do love living in the country. I live in a, in a town, but it's a very quiet town, very small town, and it's very rural. So um, to me, it's countryside, and I do love that. Um, the next one is wine or beer. I absolutely don't like beer. Um, I, you know, if, if, if uh, I'm somewhere and um, somebody has some fabulous beer they want me to taste, I would taste it. It's just I never would order a beer. I don't drink beer. Um, I might use beer in cooking sometimes. Um, I do like some wines. I don't drink a lot of wine. I hardly ever drink anything alcoholic, but if I had to choose wine or beer, I would definitely pick wine. Um, would I rather hang out with little kids or old folk? And that is really difficult because I love them both. I love to talk with older people and hear their histories of their lives. And um, they just know so much. I just love the way this mask is staying on my face. But little kids, I adore kids. I adore them. I adore them. I love to hold them. I love to play with them. Um, I love infants. I love to hold babies. Oh, I love to hold a baby. Um, ah, yeah, yeah. But if I have to pick, I probably would say old folk. So we'll just leave it at that. Um, the next one, French fries or onion rings. No contest, onion rings all the time all the way. I'll eat french fries, but they're not my favorite thing. But onion and onion rings, I don't get onion rings a lot because, but if there's a choice on a menu, like, um, you know, with a, a, a drive through or something, I'll get onion rings or I, I prefer the really big onion rings that are nice at a good restaurant. That's what I really like. Um, 14, I think this is 14. I might be off kilter on my numbers. Tattoos or piercings. Y'all, I don't like tattoos. Um, and when I say that, I do like tattoos on other people. I can appreciate, I, I work with a lot of young people and they, a lot of them have tattoos and they're beautiful. Um, but I don't want a tattoo for myself. I've never wanted, well, I have a friend, I had a friend in Chicago that was my best friend, he passed away. He always had, would get tattoos and I would go with him to the tattoo parlors. And as he would be getting tattooed, I would be looking through all of the tattoos and I, oh, this is beautiful. And he always offered to pay to buy me a tattoo and I'm like, absolutely not. 
to me, I don't like tattoos on um, a woman's body. And I know I, that's a, like the old fashioned part of me is saying that. Because when I do see tattoos on women, I, like I said, some of these young girls that I work with, they're beautiful, uh, beautiful tattoos. Um, so, but for me, um, I'd rather piercings, um, and I don't like all the face piercings. I don't like that either. Um, I have my ears pierced, and one of my ears has a second piercing in it, but I hardly ever use that. I think it's this year. I don't know. I have to try to feel. I think it's this year, and that's plenty. Um, I don't like the nose piercings. I don't like the lip piercings. I, I don't like the eyebrow piercings. I would never get them for myself. But to each his own. If you get them and you like them, then good for you. It's not my thing. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Um, I do see a lot of people with them and they look beautiful. It's just not for me. And um, yeah, that was the last one, I think. So that was it. Um, so anyway, I'm going to be getting off of here. I wanted to wish you all a happy Mass Monday. And thanks for stopping by and go see these other channels. I'll put them below. And this feels really good. It's about time to take it off, but I'm going to keep it on a little bit longer. Um, I wanted to say, please take a few minutes for yourself. Maybe while you were watching this, I should have said this at the beginning, um, just to do something nice for yourself. Um, go ahead and, you know, take care of your skin. Mask. Mask. Even if you do it just once a week, it's better than nothing. It just, you know, this is an easy way for your skin to um, have some hydration. So... Um, do something. If you can't do that, if, or if, you, if you're allergic, or if you can't do it, or something, try to do something just to take 15 minutes um, for yourself. Um, hopefully every day. Um, even 15 minutes just to read a book or something, just to, you know, to, to um, just to take care of yourself. Because I know a lot of us women don't take care of ourselves. We take care of everybody else. So, y'all, thank you so much for stopping by and count your blessings, and I'll see you soon, hopefully. Take care, bye-bye. So much.